Perfect. Ta da! Hooray! Yay! <laughs> no, we're not. Not right now. We got coffee time. Stop it. Uh, we all popped the top of it. There you go. <laughs> I like how it's still rolling. It's rolling. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just being stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Fine. It comes out in editing. Exactly. <laughs> or am I out? <laughs> that should be the motto. It comes out in editing. <laughs> it might, might not. It could be promoted in this thing. Yeah, no. Later. <laughs> Just at every clip, it comes out of that. It comes out of that. Don't worry, we got editing for this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I ain't shit on it. Yeah, apparently, yeah. apparently, with all the voice acting shit that I'm starting on, I should probably get some of that stuff. Yeah, you should. Fuck. <laughs> Good. That's why the bitches love me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because I have bad news for you, little bitch woman. <laughs> oh man. No woman. That bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woo. Yay. Welcome back to another episode of Fat Guys Trying Stuff. Yay. And yeah. We're two fat guys who try stuff. It, so <laughs> this this episode's gonna be a little different because we're not just trying stuff. We're also we want to say debating, discussing, discussing, debating. There is no debate on this episode. No, debating, but I like that. Arguing. It's not an argument. I love you. It is a, it's a discussion. I'm, it's a argument. It's not an argument. It's a discussion. It's gonna be an argument. But today, I'm we can, trying. today we got popcorn. We, we got, <laughs> Nobody's ever had popcorn in their lives. We got popcorn, popcorn. But it's uh, some a couple things. First, first of all, it's available to us, and uh, a couple things that people just try on it. Um, we only got a couple things, yeah, but it's the debate that people are supposed to be here for. Right now. Like everything blends jalapeno. Everything from Asiago cheese and then Chipotle taco. Chula. Chula. I love I love chula. That's from Mexico. The things I would do to that chula. Yeah. The things I have done to that chula. For somebody who doesn't like spice, you want that chula. I know. Chula it's like <laughs> Chula hit it for me. Like I don't like spice, but Chula hits it for me. It's chula's good. A, chula's a different kind of spice. I'm I, I look at Chula and I told him this bitch is so good if you didn't use it, I <laughs> <laughs> but we're also discussing uh so we like films lots lots of films Super Bowl. Well, see the good thing about these super bowl plates that i have is that you can have two different ones yeah on. see you want to save the, see look at that two different ones you want to save the chula for last fuck yeah One of them was open, one of them was not. Well, okay, so I took plain bagels and I put everything with the bagel <laughs> seasoning on it. So I made an everything bagel. Yeah, you did the Asiago cheese one. Yeah, don't you fucking judge me. Well, as I'm doing the jalapeno one. Well, I'm going to do both. Well, I had to open up the jalapeno one. Oh, the, the pain. I know. So much pain. I mean, I'm gonna eat the rest. Mm. Don't even pass it to me. <laughs> no. That's fine. Pass it. You already had it before. <laughs> you already knew it that way. It's cheating. <laughs> That's cheating. Cheating, Papa. You don't cheat. Bad, bad, me. <laughs> I swear. It's all in it. It's all in it. Come down in it. So, first I'll say is without any butter, it's not really sticking. 
12. And uh, well, I should have brought my spray bottle in. Oh, well. Well, there's water right there. Or she can put it there. Oh. Well, Matilda, I good. Matilda will stay. Yeah. This is the jalapeno one that I just shot back. <laughs> yeah. Straight. Yeah. That was good. Ooh, that, that was good spice for me, too. You won't feel shit, but. Oh, yeah, I know. It's hot, but for somebody like me, it won't make my butthole hurt as much. Oh, it's just a jalapeno bacon. Yeah, it's good. It is good. Like, I don't expect any of these to be like, oh my god! Oh, you mean like the Pringles? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that Pringles bacon. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get you the one chip. I don't want to do that for two reasons. One, the man. They're neck and neck. I can't even say the name of them. Okay. Um, is uh, the taste. Everybody who tastes, not only just you, said it tastes like dirt that's been rolled over a wet dog. That's what it is. All right. It's, I don't want to do it. It's hot for hot sake. No. That's the second reason. Spice. I don't Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> unless, I'm getting, unless I'm doing something stupid like this. <laughs> <laughs> don't tempt me because I'll do it for this. Fuck you. I did it once for this. That's a viewership thing. It is. I'm not doing it again just for shits and giggles. No. Pigs feet. That's for shits and giggles. That's to be shaved after. Oh, yeah. All right. So, first one we're discussing is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Spoilers for anyone who has not seen it because I know it's still in theaters and might be coming out. It depends on when I... When I get to editing this video. As of this video, it has just been out for a little bit. Yes. I'm just eating this stuff. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the jalapeno yeah. one, too. Oh. <laughs> uh, I liked it. For the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the, the way they've made this Ant-Man, aside from the comics, is kind of funny and blah, blah, kind of inept, but a good thief and a good guy at heart. You know, I like it. I thought the movie was good. Funny. I mean, it took a couple too many liberties with some people, but like Modoc. Well, mm -hmm. But I like how they tied it all in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the grunt of disapproval. Because I was not a big fan of it. You, you're watching the movie, uh -huh. and you have Scott. Again, this is huge spoilers. You have Scott, uh -huh. who is trying to protect his daughter from doing this heroic shit, and then just all of a sudden supports her doing this random shit for people that he does not even know. Like, you had, when they got to the quantum realm, he's like, we need to just get home. This isn't our fight. But then, like, just like that, he's like, oh, let's fight them. No. But that's every superhero. No, movie. it's not. Like, you look had... At, look at The Incredibles. You had... Oh, that's Disney. That's different. That is totally different. Technically, Marvel's Disney. No, 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 no. Because Marvel actually still follows the comics. Disney just makes their, up their own fucking ideas. Which we'll discuss. <laughs> <laughs> But, I can't wait for this argument. <laughs> but you have Scott, who just was this big hero. After the blip, he settled down. He doesn't want to do the hero shit. He's trying to protect his daughter. Makes money you, off the book. Yes. But also, Stan Lee made money off the comics. So I'm fine. Not I'm saying he's bad about it. But then he... They go into the quantum realm, and he's like, yeah, but our main goal is to do this and this and this. And then in the exact same fucking scene, he's like, okay, let's fight this fight. No. But it was for it was to save his daughter. No, it wasn't. It was. That no. scene where he's like, hey, where's my daughter? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, mean, you mean after they already kidnapped him? Yeah. And her, yeah, and for and him wanted to do it after they were fighting with the rebels, yeah, 
They got caught. They got caught in the before crossfire. the the you know the rebels that they said beforehand. This is not our fight. Yeah, they got caught in the crossfire, and they had to. No, trick they aside. didn't. They did. There was the they were scene. running away. That's not getting caught in the crossfire. It was as the rebels and the other guys were attacking. No, the yeah. rebels were protecting them oh, to get away. I don't give a fuck about. It. And his daughter's like, "Oh, what? Let me go do this." And then instead, he's like, instead of saying, "Okay, let's go," and protecting his daughter, he fights the fight. He, he and then the daughter as a good as this big activist. And then you have you have fucking Kang. You have Kang. There you go. Phenomenal actor. Yeah. But Scott now turning on Kang for what? You broke our deal. What deal? They were going to give back the daughter. Really? Yeah. Because. Did you miss the entire torture scene? No, I, I saw did the you, torture scene. Did you scene. like blink really no, long? No, I watched the torture uh, scene. But uh, don't, that, you, don't you find it a little weird? That they made this deal that he immediately backed out on before he even went into there. What do you mean? They made, like, they they made, made the, the deal, deal that Scott was going to go get the thing. Scott yep. left. Scott left. Got the thing. Yeah. And the daughter was already gone. Yeah, because Kang's a bad guy. No. There's so much missing out of that whole thing. There's missing parts. And they just try to piece it all together. Oh, well, yeah. And that's what irritates me. Because they... What was the original movie? We don't know. Well, because I think to introduce a character like Kang. Because first they did it in uh, Loki. Yep. Things like that. That's fine. And a character like Kang really needs his own, like, long movie. This I think this was just the the introduction of Kang was the main part they were trying to get over. You know, and how... The badassery and the, the Kangza. Spoilers. And and then the ending. Yeah. They were supposed to be trapped in the Conquering Realm. And then immediately. Because they're like, oh, there's no, there's no going back. Even they fucking said, there's no going back now. And then, oh, look, a portal. That's Blockbuster. No, it's not. No, what I think it was is they're not ready for the Young Avengers yet. Because they're setting that up. And since they're not ready for that, because of the whole pandemic, mm-hmm. they had to cut a shit ton and then make it a nice, sweet little movie. I don't think so. I thought it was a good movie. I had fun. And then I had steak. I know you had steak. I sent you pictures of my food. Yeah, I did. But twenty ounces. It, <laughs> yes, it was a good movie. Yes, it was funny. The story, though, did not make sense at times. And don't look at me and like, oh, that's a Marvel movie. No, Marvel is based on story. Up until fucking what was it? Thor: Love and Thunder. I haven't seen that. <laughs> look at the that is out too. Why have you not seen that? I get busy. That is out. You can go and rent it. I have the streaming service. There you go. Just fucking watch it. I just barely saw the the Spider Man Multiverse of Madness. But again, that one has a story. It was good. That one was phenomenal. I love that one. That was by far my favorite Spider-Man besides the originals. I, I fucking love Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire is like my best Spider-Man. Although fuck Tobey Maguire for being Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. That multiverse from Eddie Brock though was well. Yeah. I want to see the mountain as Eddie Brock. Did you see, uh, did you see Morbius? Yes. Did you see the end credit scene of Morbius? Yes, I did. With the, the, the world's shift and everything and the ultra there. Yeah. Now, here's my question. Yes. If Venom went back to his universe, why didn't the vulture go back? 
I so I think Volter when Volter happened, yeah, was actually during the whole multiverse of madness. Mm. So they didn't get to send him back yet. I think it's plot armor. No, it's not plot armor. Because why would they send an a Marvel fucking copy to a Sony universe? Money? No. No, because you know you know fucking Sony. They still own half of Spider Man. Yeah. Like the only reason why Marvel can use Spider Man is if he's using it with another MC MCU character. He can't just have his own Spider Man movie. There we go. That's why. Because of fucking Tony. And they're not going to hold off on that. Unless just gets demonetized by Tony. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, com- they're bringing forth the Sinister Six. They are. What are we going to the Asiago one? It's good. Oh. Really good. Sitting here just doing my finger. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Fucking heathen. But that's why, like, I wasn't a big fan of. I didn't. I never watched the first Ant Man. Well, no. No. I I watched Ant Man and the Wasp. I did not watch the first Ant Man. See, you're skipping the whole setup then. Really? Yeah. Really? I, yeah. I skipped the whole setup of Ant Man. Yeah. Really? On how he's kind of like a bumbling thief, but he's not that smart. But he really, because hard. they they go in that in Civil War and Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, they kind of hamper that shit home. <laughs> So I don't need to watch the first Ant-Man. Maybe. And my reasoning for wa- not watching the first Ant-Man was it's not the original Ant-Man. But he's in it. Yes, but it was not the original Ant-Man. It was not fucking Hank Pym. Hank Pym. You mean the Hank Pym that slept throughout his life? Yes. The Hank, that's yes, that one. It's like I Put that in a Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> I finally well, found you to get back to work, bitch, ma'am. I mean, they might. They might. But again, another thing is, you have <laughs> back to Quantum Realm, or Quantum Mania, whatever the fuck they want to. WrestleMania, Quantum Physics. WrestleMania 7. <laughs> <laughs> Kang versus Ant Man at Quantum Mania 7. <laughs> You have fucking. Oh, that's a good one. She's like, oh, he's here, he's here. We know who the fuck he is. Why is she not telling us who he is? Until it's too late. We knew. Yeah, but they didn't in the story. But why? Why you have to hold that information? Because she feels bad that she unleashed this holy evil thing on the people. So she waits until Kang tells them, hey, I unleashed this yeah. evil thing. She's like, yeah, I did that. We, look, she, look, a lot of people who are brilliant aren't fucking smart. <laughs> you would think that you would, you're, especially since your daughter's a fucking s- superhero, you'd be like, yeah, this is Kang the Conqueror. She wasn't officially he, a superhero. Yes, she was. She had a movie she, with Ant-Man she, called Ant-Man and the Wasp. She is an official superhero. I was thinking granddaughter. No, I was thinking the daughter, because you remember, they yeah. split it up. Yeah. Hey. The Pims went their own way. The Langs went the other way. Then they're like, oh, let's find, let's find Scott. Let's find yeah, but Scott. Why, why tell your family, you know, he's in the quantum realm, wherever. Let's go and find Scott and not tell them about this eventual supervillain. But to her knowledge, it was no eventual. It was, it was only became an eventual when somebody was fucking around with the quantum realm. He was locked there. She knew he was going to be She a knew he was there. Because that's why he got sent there. Yeah, but she didn't know there was like multis out there. Yes, she does. She even explained that it was him that sent him there. So clearly. <laughs> okay, but he, okay, it, given that one up, she saw that the other ones were at least good enough to send him there. So she didn't have a reason to be afraid. Yeah, until he's trying to destroy the, the whole universe. Yeah, but like, if and that's when she escapes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, in her mind, to justify it, out of sight, out of mind. In her mind, she was trapped in the quantum realm for years, so she was crazy. 
Well, yeah. But They're still, <laughs> you would think, oh, this quantum thing is being built. Anyway. <laughs> but my my granddaughter just built this quantum realm. She didn't know. But as soon as you but see it, and before they fire it up. That's why she was tweaking out. But before they fire it up, they're like, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Maybe if you fucking said, hey, this let's not go there. Idea. Let's not go there. There's a crazy motherfucker that wants to get out. Her back. No. <laughs> because at any point, even when they got separated, she's yeah. like, she was acting weird. She's like, don't let him, don't let it see you. And they're like, why? Why not let it see you? Her back. There's just so much wrong. She made poor life choices. Oh, everybody in that movie made poor life choices. I can't. It's not my... Since they went from Thor Dark World... Well, not Dark World. Love and Thunder. Yeah, Love and Thunder. I've heard, that, I've heard that's kind of bad. That's one of the reasons I haven't like jumped on watching it. It's funny, but it's another, they cut things out. Like, you could tell it's another, they cut things out. Not every Marvel movie can be four hours. Not every Marvel movie needs to end in, oh, everybody's happy and everything like that. No, you had Thor, Love and Thunder that ended <laughs> on a sad note. You had Wakanda Forever ended on a sad note. Then you have fucking Quantumania. Oh, let's reunite. Re no. Happy note. This is supposed to be like the darkest. Happy. No, this is supposed to be like the darkest fucking Marvel right now. Because all the Avengers are dead. Besides two. And now you have to find new Avengers to replace them. What if they totally took the shark and did the Fantastic Four as like the old Avengers? Another Fantastic Avengers. The Avengers 4. <laughs> With She-Hulk. Oh, dear God. Don't get me started on She-Hulk. You don't like She-Hulk? It's another fucking... They could have done something, and then they just ruined it. Why the fuck did she have to twerk with Megan Thee Stallion? Because it's hot. No. 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 I would watch that green jumbly all No. Day. That was terrible. Follow the bouncing butt. Put the butt, put the butt, put the butt, put the butt. Terrible CGI. No, it was good. No, that was terrible. Terrible. And then the whole fucking end episode. That was bad. Like, she breaks out of her own shell, goes into heaven. <laughs> I, did, I did like that. She enters heaven. I did but like she that. Hulk is not like she broke the fourth wall in comics before Deadpool was even a thing. Yes, which is fine. But the whole oh, make this better, make this better. Shut the fuck up. Go back to your fucking terrible show. But no, it was not. It was real gross. No, it did not. It showed no growth whatsoever. My favorite thing, the one thing I did like about it, is Daredevil. That wasn't my favorite. I liked how they showed, and if, and people lost this point, how Hulk is strong. Mm -hmm. She-Hulk is smart. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Okay, and people were kind of focusing on, oh, how come she beat up Smart Hulk and blah blah blah, because she was. Out maneuvering in tactical. But also that's smart Hulk. Yeah. It's not the Hulk. Yeah. That's, or, that's my point. If she was fighting the Hulk. Or Savage Hulk, she would be dead. I'm fucking dead. Yeah. Screw it all. World breaker. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> world, world Hulk. Fuck you. Whole universe <laughs> is dead. Fuck you, dead Hulk. <laughs> Hulk <laughs> Ven Venomized Hulk. Like, I like that they put that, no, Daredevil in there. 
I be wish cool. would be cool if they put that scene in there. I wish. I really wish, like during the whole fourth wall breaking, there was like a little Deadpool. Like Deadpool just, just walked by. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be Check no lines. Ass and walk, no lines, just Deadpool. Or like it showed Deadpool was actually controlling Kevin. That's what I was gonna say. Like the little the wall comes back and it's Deadpool. A little back and forth. Mm. I was gonna say he doesn't have to talk. Because you know they can't pay they have to pay Ryan Reynolds for that. I think Ryan Reynolds would have done it though. Oh yeah, I know he would have. Hundred percent. That man's a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. People are like, oh, I'd go gay for Ryan Reynolds. Well, no shit. Yeah. Is it really being gay though? I don't, I don't think it'll side now. Okay, now <laughs> squirrel brain. Everybody's like, oh, I want a body like this person, this famous person. You realize they work out eight hours a day and have a trainer. And then, or for some of these roles, like Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah. Worked out 16 hours a day. Like, if I didn't have, you know, poor people shit to do, like pay bills and all this other stuff, and all I had to do was. Work out to prepare for my next million, multi million dollar role. I could work out for 16 hours a day, too. And so could you. That's what fucking, uh, uh excuse me. What's his name? Instead Jeremy? of a fat guy eating popcorn. What's his name? Jeremy Irons that plays Kang? Yeah. Yeah, he just did a, he was in Creed 3. And he had to do a whole extensive workout to the point where it put him in exhaustion. Yeah. What really gets me is, Women and men were like, oh, I want a dad bod. I want a dad bod like this. And it shows Thor when he's all like ripped and everything. That's not a fucking dad bod. It's also not Thor. Um, true. <laughs> but for him to get that, I, he made a release that how he had to like starve his body for two days and like do some major damage and shit like that. Yeah. That's not a dad bod. Okay. No. A dad bod is a little paunch. Well, not more, more than, you know, I have more paunch than Flubber. He can fantastic. Mm. Um, <laughs> but, like, get control of what you, you're calling a fucking dad bod. Gonna, Jesus Christ. You're going to say that you're the fantastic Thor? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm the fa- fabulous Flubber. <laughs> all right? That's all it is. All right. Are we going for the next round of popcorn? Big metal ball. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> the next round of popcorn for the next fucking discussion. Oh, fuck this shit. Since I'm trying to set it up with... I don't even have any alcohol where I am. <laughs> I mean, I could have brought my strong ass uh, banana vodka. Hmm. I did pick up more uh, barbecue whiskey. Because mm-hmm. I kind of set it up with... That's not actual Thor. And that's Disney movies. Uh, well, no, that, that was earlier. I love this stuff. Oh, I fucking love it. This is good. Yes. Melissa, so good. Melissa found that. Mm. So good. Isn't it good? You just couldn't delay it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a whole argument. I went to a all over that taco. <laughs> I, went all over, I went on an argument. Now it's time for you to go into an argument. All right. Next movie sucks. No, it does not. <laughs> Giant whale penis. It does not suck at all. So much that the sea is salty with how much cum this thing sucks. It doesn't suck. How can you say it doesn't suck? How can you say it does suck? Hera was not a loving mother. Really? Because how much do you see Hera in the movie? Too much. No, you do not. You see her for like at least a quarter. Yeah, that's about the same amount that you see Hera in the mythology. No, she tried to fuck him over every turn. Yeah. So you don't see her. But she wasn't a good mother yeah. at all. Because she wasn't. Hey, she wasn't. The, okay, first of all, we're talking about Disney's Hercules. <laughs> you can tell. Let, let's hop right into this. <laughs> so, I <laughs> got you know, readjust the stance. <laughs> like, I need a more dominant stance. <laughs> All right. So, first of all, Hera as a loving mother. She's not Hercules' mother. Zeus fucked everything. Everything 
everything. Hera is the goddess of monogamy and wedded bliss. It's married Zeus. Yeah. Uh, she did not, to the fact, to the more the fact that his name was a last ditch effort to be like, hey, it's not the kid's fault. His name is Heracles yep. in honor of you. And she's like, fuck that kid. He dead. <laughs> but again, no. Again, in Disney's Hercules, remember this is supposed, this is supposed to be Disney, so they're not going to have, even though they earlier in the fucking, like a year before, they kill the fucking lion dad with no remorse. Do it again. Wasa wasa wasa. See that one? I can get that. <laughs> they when Hercules got kidnapped. Hera was like, "No, but Zeus was the one no, that was picked." No, she didn't do that. All she did was just go, just go, oh, and then just fell into a heap. Yeah, but Zeus was, was the one that goes, no, like it shakes the whole fucking Olympus. So Zeus actually cares. Hera doesn't give a fuck no, in the she movie. Cares. She's like, no, she does not. <laughs> she does not care until the end of the movie. She's like, oh, look at our loving son. He's so fab up. That's the, that doesn't mean that she cares. Yes. Yeah, she- She's just showing him off, and then all the. How do we know that? Your mother and I proudly conceived this from our birth. How do we know that? Because it does not relate in Disney that Hera did not go to Hades at the party and say, hey, have these We're two. We're not doing games. conspiracy. No, you don't know this. We don't know this. Because her just going, oh. And not showing any other fucking reaction. She collapsed crying. No, she did not. She went into Zeus's chest going, oh. Yeah, crying. To him. Wouldn't you be crying over your lost child? Yes, not, over my lost child. Like, where the child was? Not on uh, the fucking husband that fucked everything? I think they did it to show that they were a happy couple and she went into his arms. You could see that they weren't a happy couple. <laughs> You could see it at the fucking meeting of Hercules. She, as a loving mother, fuck that. No. Hades isn't a bad guy. He just has a shitty job. I mean, he's not a bad guy in the movie. Either. They made him a bad guy. Is he really, though? He, he wants to take over and overthrow all the gods and kill them all and take power for himself. Yes. I mean, do you blame him? Have you seen the other gods? I'm not saying that, <laughs> but they made it's, him the bad guy. It's mostly an anti-hero. They made no. Yeah, it, it is not an anti-hero. He is mostly an anti-hero. That's full of shit. Bullshit. Because you see, you saw when he met Zeus. He's like, oh, 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 oh. it was and, all snidely. And Zeus Hades, is an idiot. Hades is like lovely, can't fucking lovely. Because like, Zeus is a fucking idiot. He's all confident. He's the stereotypical fucking jock. Okay, uh, uh, nothing. Everybody's my friend. Bur, 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 bur. You know, he's college age Flash Thompson. That is true. All right, but where he thinks everybody's his friend and he's gonna do good and all this other bullshit. Uh, yeah. But what did Hades actually do that was a villain? Tried to kill Hercules when he was human. Went back on the deal. Tried to re- uh, free the Titans. Hmm. Try. Besides for the Titans, doesn't that all sound like what Hera did? Yes, Hera was the bad person. So not Hades. So Hades is so in the movie, Hades has to be the bad person because hey, because of Hera. Not because of Hera, because they wouldn't do it correctly. So they made Hades the bad guy. So he's not a bad guy. I'm just saying. I know. I. That was my beginning point. It's like, he's not a bad guy. They're, Disney is doing what Disney does and plucking bullshit. And speaking of plucking shit... Oh, God. <laughs> Hercules never met Pegasus. Nope. The dude who trained him was a centaur, not a satyr. 
you know why the Death of Seder, though. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. You really think Danny DeVito could play a centaur? I would have made up one of the mini ponies. <laughs> but it's easier to just have the Seder. Like a mini pony. But it's easier to just have a Seder. Or a mini Highland cow. Oh my god. But it wasn't in there. Oh, see? <laughs> At least they didn't put it on. Hercules. It was Jason who fought the Hydra, not Hercules. Yeah, but also, what else did Jason do? Uh, he had the yeah. Argonauts. Yeah, the Argonauts. Uh, but they didn't really touch on that too much, other than, oh, that's the ship of the Argos. I fucked up. Let's talk about all the other things. I mean, it was Perseus with Pegasus. You gotta remember, though. Clash of the Titans, motherfucker. Old school. Not this new bullshit. Old school. They show all the heroes. As failures. As failures. But they show all the heroes. So, obviously, they're like, oh, well, we just showed all these heroes. Now we have to do something with these fucking creatures that we made. Achilles. That was the hero. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> They're not going to have... They weren't going to make a mythology timeline. They fucking could have. They could have, but they weren't going to. This was 1990s. They want to go kill fucking dads. (laughs) (laughs) Have priests touch women. Where was that? On Trek and Notre Dame. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Mary. You got Hercules, like, <clears throat> the 90s, they had all this fucking shitty shit. They have to make Hercules good. Like, they can't... Hercules just, is good on his own. They No, like, they can't just have shitty, more shitty fucking They characters. have him with the Nemean lion skin. But they can't have... Which was him, Scar. Which was Scar. <laughs> they could have shown that. And you know why he had to do the 12 trials? Because Hera, Hera put him under a thing where he killed his own fucking family. Oh no, forget that fucking Disney. (laughs) I mean, they brought him up to the gods. Yeehaw. (laughs) Let's pose with the Nemean lion that I had to kill because I had a family while I got a heart on for this other chick. After uh, Meg died. (laughs) Hold on, Meg. (coughs) Hold on, Meg. Let me slaughter my children. (coughs) He technically killed Meg. I gotta save her. I feel so bad. What about your other fam wife and two or three kids? <laughs> Fuck that. Have you met my dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the old boy. <laughs> Get that moon. Like for the nineties, it was a good movie. Oh, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Lion King was a good movie. Lion King was a good movie. Much back at Doctor Dave. Pretty okay movie. <laughs> Even though you have this priest singing about Hellfire and he wants to sodomize with a gypsy woman. Yeah, it wasn't sodomized. It was just, he just wanted to bang her. Was she willing? She's not old enough. <laughs> <laughs> was she willing? Typical gypsy fashion, maybe. And if he is a priest or whatever, it is against the religion to do that. That's why he sang Hellfire. So many of our priests nowadays are priestly. Away! <laughs> but you had all this fucking we shit. We support the Boys and Girls Club of America. Sponsored by. <laughs> Terrible. You, you had all this bad stuff that happened in good movies. They have to make a good movie that has good shit in it. Fail. They didn't fail. Fail. No, they did not. Cyclops wasn't one of the Titans either. Just a fucking Cyclops. They didn't say that he was a Titan. He was locked up with the Titans, therefore he's a fucking Titan. That's because the Cyclops got the shit out of the stick along with the hundred arm and hundred hand people. Mm. They got the shit out of the stick. They supported the Titans. Oh yeah, Cyclops was Jason the Argonauts also. Yeah. But Just throw that out there, Disney. 
Way to go, research crew. Well, don't get hasty now because you got to remember Percy Jackson. They have the fucking Cyclops. Yeah, but that's because. Uh, oh my god, I just. Percy's dad banged. Decided. Banged, uh, not Artemis, but, uh, what's her face? And that's, that's the whole mythos. That's how horses were made, too. Yeah. Aphrodite. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, none of the gods really didn't get around, but still. But, like, you have. So, Percy Jackson made it better. As much as I hate those movies. Or the books. Yeah. I can't wait for the TV show. Mm. The books were so much better. As much as I hate the movies, Percy Jackson did what Hercules could not. Yep. It was good. But also, you gotta look from 1990s to early 2010s. There's a lot to go from there. You know, there's a lot to go on. The original Hercules and other heroes story. Yes. You know what they did go on? <laughs> the original Hercules and other story. Because they don't think he's going to sell as much. I may be in the minority. You are in the say, minority. Saying this and whatnot. Like, because God forbid I say something against the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, that? Don't, don't, be get, don't be jinxing us. We need to praise the mouse right now. We're going on that cruise. Look, we need oh, to fucking suck that mouse's dick if we need to. I'm paying the money. I don't need to suck <laughs> shit. Look, look, I'm just saying there are certain things movies that did not produce for me personally. Hercules was one of them. Chicken Little was a great movie, and that got fucking underrated. Fuck Sony trying to demonetize us. Fucking Disney's going far up the roads. Oh, what have you told me? Huh? Feels good, doesn't it? Oh! Fucking do it again. <laughs> oh, do it again. <laughs> now we have a weird look thing with Goofy and, <laughs> Goofy and Mickey. We're going over oh, now. Because he's going to was, was it a weird one? Because motherfucker was always around Donald and Goofy. So are you implying that Goofy was just Donald and Mickey's fuck stick? I think Donald was a bit. little bit pimp up. I, th- <laughs> I can't do it with Donald. I think Donald was the fuck stick. Is that why he was so angry? That's why he can't speak. <laughs> he throat fucking raw. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remember, this is a kid's show. <laughs> why, else, why else would he just be wearing a Sarah's outfit and no pants? Because you always got to be ready. I mean, I guess Mickey's going around. If you think about it, Goofy's the only one fully clothed. Oh, yeah, no. Besides Minnie. She is in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yes, but how often is Mickey around Minnie? I don't know. You had the whole House of Mouse segment where he wanted nothing to do with her. He was more inclined to be with Goofy and Donald running his show. I'm just saying, look, look, they've been dating for what? <clears throat> 60 years, 50 years, something like that? Was years? it actually official though? I don't know. All I'm just saying is like he hasn't like they haven't don't have an apartment together. No, or maybe they're just private. I don't know. I know when I when I went to Disney, my my whole thought was to try and get Cody to hook up with her. <laughs> <laughs> And I was told I could. Damn it. Yeah. Definitely should have. One of the many times in my life where I was told to be good. But again, like Goofy has Clarabel Cow. Which voice? <laughs> you have Donald with Daisy. And Minnie and Mickey are just fuck off. They're on again and off again. Maybe they went through the whole thing. It's just narcissistic just to bag yourself. That's what it is. Really? Because Mickey's hanging out more with Donald and Goofy. 
done anything. To the point where Mickey has Goofy walk his fucking dog. I didn't watch that part. <laughs> like, that's fucked up. It's the only other dog here. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's the other thing. It's like, does that make Pluto, like, I don't know, kind of like the, the Gimp from Pulp Fiction? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> right, this is it. You got <laughs> mouse controls. <laughs> This one has a poop core. <laughs> you got Donald as the fuck stick, and then Pluto as the gimp. Oh, yeah, we're not getting on that Disney cruise. <laughs> so, so, it says on here that you made a YouTube channel. It's all going to come out in editing. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. Well, as always, um, these things are good. They are good. Uh, the everything stuff, my fault, but butter would have definitely helped to uh, get everything to stick. Chula, always amazing. Uh, follow us on our stuff, the the, the ticky talks and the the twitchy tubes. <laughs> you can tell that you're not with uh, social the, media. The yub tubs. <laughs> <laughs> the book of many faces. <laughs> the aim and the the, the my space. <laughs> the face space. <laughs> and the my book. The my book. <laughs> Twee trolls. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm good. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. I'm comic relief. That's all the fuck I am. <laughs> There's something. Somebody just write about Hercules sucking dick. He doesn't do that in the movie. <laughs> Get him to the Greek. You gotta agree, the only good thing, the good thing, that was about that movie was it ended. Hades. No, Hades, yeah. Actually, I will say one other good thing about the movie. Okay. Because I can't get you to say anything else good about the movie. Well, because it'd be yeah, a good yeah. movie and I'll say more good things about it. Uh, I did enjoy the fight scene with the Hydra. Yeah. I, that was Disney animation. That was the only thing. That was the animation, though. Yeah. That's the only thing you liked about it, was the animation. Yeah. That one specific part, yeah, the rest of the animation is like, eh, whatever. I watch Beauty and the Beast. Hey, let's hold this <laughs> The remake? Well, the live action? No. With fucking Hermione? I don't think I saw that. You didn't see the live action one? No. With uh, Emma Watson and... We started watching it and then... And then Olaf as fucking LeFou? No, I think it's just. Oh my god. Where they openly said that uh, LeFou was gay for. Yeah. Which. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> really? Really? You want to go into it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is my stance. I am pro Rambo Mafia. Very much. Okay. It is one of those things. I'm very pro Rambo Mafia. I don't think, and it's, I think it makes it more of a fad instead of an actual lifestyle. Everybody's like, no, no, we, we recognize this. See, th th this person's gay. This person's lesbian. This person's, you know, black, Mexican, Asian, whatever. And this is a white guy, fat white guy saying it. So, you know, bring on the hate. I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I don't feel that you need to change existing characters. To fit in with a norm. Can't he just be, you know, a sniveling sidekick that's been around for fucking ever? Now, in the original Beauty and the Beast, yep. it is implied that he is gay. Implied. Well, the amount of times that he is all over Gaston. I, I'm, yeah. So... It makes sense for them to now mm -hmm. do it. Absolutely. But if he was like, 
Just some dude. Like the baker. Yeah. In the fucking town. Almost coming up with a rainbow outfit going, would you like some bread? No. Yeah, that would be wrong too. I get it. Like, I understand it. I'm just saying, in general, not that as a specific. That's what spurred the topic. I mean, <coughs> it'd be horrible. Like, you know, turning Shaggy black. But Shaggy's already black. It wasn't me. <laughs> right, you're black. <laughs> you can't tell people you play guitar. <laughs> what I would be afraid of, you know, I'm a racist. No. <laughs> that I have to edit out. <laughs> I'm a racist. <laughs> No, you, you can't talk about Shaggy being black because you refuse to watch the show. Because it's shit! You don't know it! <laughs> you don't know. Dabba 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 dabba. Because you're just, you're just basing it off of animation. Which sucks. But you're not basing it off of... Also reviews. I will I will 100% agree that I, am, I have not watched the show, so... Admittedly, I cannot form a 100% opinion. You're judging a book by its cover. You're right. I am. Thank you. <laughs> so you can't just go shitting on it because you have not seen it yet. Fine. I won't shit on it. I will just shart and fart in its general direction. And every time you say black shag, I'm just going to be like, Whoa, no, 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 over me. With her hands on her nose. Over me. <laughs> I'm a freak. <laughs> Stop it. I gotta edit that. The last know. thing we need is you saying that. I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. No. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Keeping up with Disney. <laughs> that was a good movie. It was, I like that. The amount of time. I know we're I know we're like fifty two minutes into this. Might be shorter depending on editing. Well it is Prong's it's about new, a time to go hard to reach it. <laughs> Prong's new group. Yes. What was your take on that? I liked it. It was fun. So many people complain about it. Why? Because they don't think that there was an extra story. It was a redemption arc of a spoiled prince finding out what it's like to be, you know, helpless and having to depend on other people and, and himself and actually making a friend. It's a standard trope. You're confused. I said Kronk's new group. Oh, Kronk's new group. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I saw it. I'm sorry. What do you want? You are a Disney nerd and you are missing out on so many fucking Disney movies. I am. Hey, Lama. <laughs> like, I'm still going to get you to watch Night of the Cell. Oh, sure. I could watch that, but I can't go. <laughs> it's not going to be on this. It's not going to be on this. <laughs> Welcome, kiddos. As we review it's all going to say. <laughs> I mean, it could be on this, but we might get... Thank uh, God we're up north. We might get uh, taken down by the mouse. Uh-huh. Like, not even joking. Like, they, he might just be like, oh, fuck that. No, nope. those two guys. <laughs> they they want to watch Song of the South? Hell no. I would frame the cease and desist order and put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go on our cruise now. I can. <laughs> Joe wanted to... Re- we just wear mustaches. <laughs> Do a... Uh, no, I'm Joe, and he's saying, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. The Kronk's new group, where it was all about Kronk. Hmm. I'm going to give you a whole note. I need you to write down all the Disney movies that you have not seen. You'd be top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, you're going to say you didn't see this. Sword in the Stone. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Thank fucking God. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. 
Thank fucking God because if you do not see that, I'd be like, no, we're done with this. Only two episodes in, we're done. Did I ever tell you about how uh, Sleeping Beauty uh, had me freak out? Movie? Had me freak out? Why? Because they swore. That had you freak out? When I was a little kid, and we finally rented it on VHS because I'm fucking old. <laughs> I mean, that's what churches me on. <laughs> her feelings shouldn't be on anything. You know what her feelings is on? Fuck it, bet. Um, no, because if he was, he wouldn't be so strong. <laughs> PCP him. <laughs> no, that's what killed his family. Yeah, him on PCP. Uh, so... There's a scene where the Prince Charming is going in to go and fight Maleficent. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm going to come at you with all the powers of hell. It transforms into the dragon. And you just freaked out over the word hell. I did. Mom, they're swearing! They swore to Disney for me! They didn't swear. It has to. Yeah, but she didn't. When I was a little kid, that was a bad word. She didn't even say it in like the context of that. She was saying she was sending all of hell. She said, "Now, I was a little kid. And they swore. Thank you for ruining me, Disney. It's your fault. <laughs> Thank you for ruining me. I need Mr. reparations, <laughs> Mister the Mouse, <laughs> Mister the Mouse. <laughs> and now I need reparations for the poor widow Nike." <laughs> <laughs> you don't get reparations, all right. You made me how I am. <laughs> I'm a power player. <laughs> oh, fuck it, do it again. <laughs> all right, we're done. With, we're done. We're, <laughs> we're done. done. We're done. It's been almost a fucking hour of this. Comes out in editing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The longer they are, the more editing it takes. I'm a racist. <laughs> Because I have to calm through everything. How many times did you say it? <laughs> so much powder. <laughs> oh my god. It's my fault Scooby Doo knows how to play the guitar. He doesn't. He knows how to play the bass. Right. <laughs> He's a bassist. Alright, we're done. He's a bassist. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Oh, yeah, I already looked at the camera thing. Yeah, yeah, you did. <sighs> yeah. So we'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Subscribe! <laughs> Nobody cares! Or somebody else that to take the fucking the order for us. And then a week after, the same fucking kids that were high came through. They're like, yo, is Shaggy and Scooby here? <laughs> And I, we were both off. I'm like, fuck, these kids know. Now I gotta be like, what's up, man? <laughs>